ever wondered how much energy we could harness if we could reach the stronger winds high in the sky? Well, the concept of airborne wind turbines aims to do exactly that. Unlike the traditional wind turbines we're familiar with, which are firmly planted on the ground, airborne wind turbines float in the air, free of a tower. This intriguing design allows them to tap into the higher wind speeds found at lofty altitudes, potentially unlocking a wealth of untapped wind energy. Imagine that, a turbine soaring like a kite, generating power from the wind. Quite an elegant solution, isn't it? But it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges to overcome, such as ensuring the safety of this airborne technology and figuring out how to transmit the power generated in the sky back down to Earth. So, while the idea of airborne wind turbines sounds promising, it's not without its challenges. But how did this idea come about? The idea of airborne wind turbines isn't as new as you might think. Picture this, it's the 1980s. Synth pop is blasting out of every boombox and a few bright minds began toying with the idea of harnessing the power of the wind, not from grounded turbines, but from ones that are airborne. This was the inception of airborne wind turbines, a design concept that proposed wind turbines with rotors supported in the air without a tower, able to benefit from higher wind speeds at high altitudes. The idea was brilliant on paper, but it posed numerous challenges like safety, power transmission, and aviation interference. Over the years, the concept of airborne wind turbines saw a multitude of research and development with prototypes springing up from companies like Magen and Altairos Energies. The vision was clear to create wind turbines that could operate at low or high altitudes and become an integral part of airborne wind energy systems. Magen was one of the pioneers in this field. They developed an aerodynamic variety of airborne wind turbines using the principles of lift and drag to keep the turbines afloat. Altairos Energies, on the other hand, took a different approach. They developed an aerostat variety using lighter-than-air gases to elevate the turbine. Each of these companies brought unique ideas to the table, driving the technology forward in their own ways. Their efforts were not in vain, as they successfully demonstrated that airborne wind turbines could be more than just a concept. However, despite these key developments and the promise of harnessing untapped wind energy, the technology of airborne wind turbines is still largely in the prototype stage. It's a testament to the complexity of the challenge, but also to the perseverance of those who see the potential of this technology. Despite decades of research and development, airborne wind turbines are still largely in the prototype stage. But what is the current state of this technology? Let's delve into that in the next scene. Fast forward to today, and airborne wind turbines are still trying to get off the ground, so to speak. They are, in essence, an ambitious design concept for wind turbines that foregoes the traditional tower structure, opting instead to stay aloft in the sky. The idea is to take advantage of the stronger, more consistent wind speeds at higher altitudes. But the reality of actualizing this concept has been fraught with challenges. The major hurdles to widespread commercialization and adoption of airborne wind turbines come down to safety, power transmission, and aviation interference. Safety concerns arise from the need to ensure these airborne structures don't pose a risk to people or property on the ground. Power transmission becomes a puzzle when you consider the task of transmitting the energy generated at high altitudes down to the ground efficiently. And then there's the issue of aviation interference. The challenge of ensuring these high-flying turbines don't end up in the flight paths of aircraft. Despite these challenges, progress has been made over the years. Companies like Magen and Altaeros Energies have been at the forefront of developing prototypes of these innovative turbines. Research on airborne wind energy systems has been ongoing since the 1980s and the knowledge base in this field continues to expand. Yet, even with these advancements, few commercial products are currently in operation. This is a testament to the complex nature of the issues at hand. It's not just about designing a turbine that can fly, it's about designing a system that is safe, efficient, 
and compatible with existing aviation infrastructure. The journey of airborne wind turbines has been filled with ups and downs, quite literally. But the dream of harnessing high-altitude winds is still very much alive. The promise of a clean, renewable energy source that could operate at low or high altitudes is too enticing to give up on. As we continue to grapple with the realities of climate change, the quest for innovative solutions like airborne wind turbines remains more relevant than ever. So, where does that leave us with airborne wind turbines? In the past few minutes, we've embarked on a journey exploring the concept, history and current state of airborne wind turbines. As we've seen, these aren't your typical windmills. They're an innovative design concept for wind turbines that reside high in the sky without the need for a tower embracing the power of higher wind speeds at lofty altitudes. From the initial concept stages in the 1980s to the development of prototypes by companies like Magen and Alteros Energies, we've traced the evolution of airborne wind turbines. We've seen how they've overcome hurdles and explored the challenges that still lie ahead from safety to power transmission and aviation interference. But where does that leave us now? Well, as of 2022, there are still few commercial products in operation. However, that's not to say the future isn't bright. The potential of this technology is vast and its implications for renewable energy are profound. Imagine a world where our energy doesn't just come from the ground beneath us, but also from the sky above. A world where we harness the power of the wind at higher altitudes, where the wind speeds are greater and the potential for energy generation is immense. That's the world airborne wind turbines promise us. But it's not just about the potential for energy generation. It's also about the environmental benefits. With airborne wind turbines, we could significantly reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and make a meaningful impact in the fight against climate change. In conclusion, the journey of airborne wind turbines is far from over. It's a journey filled with promise and potential. It's a journey that embodies the spirit of innovation and progress that drives the renewable energy sector. The sky is not the limit when it comes to renewable energy. With continued research and innovation, who knows where we'll be able to reach next?